Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an early morning power hour. We are a home of early risers, most of you know, and today was going to be a super busy day. So I wanted to get going on some things and have a really productive morning before I get going with the kids' school. Today's video is in collaboration with a sweet friend of mine. Her name is Lisa. Her channel is To Each Their Own Home. She and I are really, really good friends over on Instagram. She is so very sweet. She's a mama to three kiddos, and her channel is just beautiful you guys and she works so hard at it she has a lot of cleaning content um, she has a lot of motivational talks about inspiring and encouraging other mothers her home is beautiful and her kids are darling she is so very supportive and I have loved getting to know her she also has an amazing sense of humor I enjoy Lisa so very much and I know you guys will as well so make sure you check out her channel so like I said, this is going to be a power hour and I did write down a list of the chores that I wanted to accomplish this morning. I'm starting at 7.30 or just a minute after. I am gonna be starting with the regular routine of just getting my bedroom together, making my bed. I love to do this. Um, I make sure to do it as early as I can every morning. It just helps with everything. It sets the day up, you're productive right off the bat and it helps your room feel so much more put together. Like I said, this is an especially busy day for us, which was the reason for me focusing specifically on a power Hour, hour in the morning most mornings I'm not able to do this I do go to the gym and it's very early I take the kiddos with me so I don't usually have a focused hour in the morning where I'm able to do chores but one day a week I stay home from the gym and that happened to be today but today was also very very busy we are also doing softball and t-ball with my two oldest so our nights are extremely busy so I just did not have time to get to things the night before and I knew that I was gonna be really pressed for time today so I wanted today to start off very productive and just to get as much done in the morning as I could. I am trying to do things like this where I come in and help the kiddos with their morning chores, but again, it doesn't happen. It's something that I'm trying to make a routine, but it's definitely a work in progress right now. So while the boys were finishing up with their room, I had Nora over here taking care of her responsibilities. She is eight, so I don't usually have to um, come in and help her too much. <laughs> I just have to come in and take Abby out of her way. But once she was done with that, um, I'm getting going on trying to get their teeth brushed and then I am gonna be coming in and wiping down the bathroom. This is something that, again, I'm trying to make it a routine. It's a little tricky right now, but I want to be able to come in and wipe everything down because the toothpaste every single time they brush their teeth is just ridiculous. I try to come in at least once a day, morning or night. Um, like I said, our nights are pretty busy, so I wasn't able to come in last night after they brushed their teeth. We were all just exhausted, and I got everybody in bed as soon as I could. So I knew I wanted to get that done this morning as well. So most days, you guys know, I am doing a load of laundry, at least one load of laundry a day. And this morning I needed to get Abby's laundry going. So I'm getting that going, but so far I've gotten the beds and the bathroom done. And I tell you what, it is so great being able to check those off. I think I'm probably gonna start utilizing the list idea a little bit more. Um, this is an idea that came from Style Mom XO, and I know a couple of other moms on YouTube that utilize this. Uh, Love Meg will do lists here and there, and it's a really great idea, and it's super satisfying being able to have a list in front of you and accomplish it and check things off. So this is a load of my dish towels that I had ran the night before. If you've seen some of my videos, I've mentioned that before, that I usually wait until the evening to run my load of dish rags and towels and things like that, and then they're ready for the next morning to be put away. So I'm just taking care of that, and then I'm gonna get going on cleaning up our breakfast mess. And 
Part of my routine in the evenings is to run the dishwasher and then they're ready to unload for the next morning. So I'm just taking care of the dishes from the night before. And these days I have a very eager little helper and she is stepping right in and taking on that role as you can see. Um, I don't know what was going on with the camera in this clip here. It goes out of focus a couple of different times and I'm not sure why, I'm sorry you guys, but it's just in this clip right here and it's not gonna do it anymore. I do apologize for that. But otherwise, I just needed to get all of our breakfast dishes in the dishwasher and ready to go so that the counters are clean. That is one thing that I love is to have all of my counters clean and wiped down. And just in case any of you are worried, I have since uh, this video moved those bags so that she is not able to get into them, um, partly for her safety, but it really wasn't an issue. She just likes to um, carry them around and swing them around because she loves the noise. So mainly because of my sanity, but also for her safety, those bags have been moved. So just so that nobody's wondering or worried, those bags have been relocated because she would just not stay out of them. So I don't usually vacuum this early in the day, but I hadn't gotten to it last night. And then this morning, the kids had either toast or yogurt with granola, and the crumbs were insane. They were all over the place. The kids love to get their own breakfast ready, but they are eight, five, and four. So you can imagine the mess that ensues when they're in the kitchen. So I really needed to get ahead of the crumbs. And then also there was still a mess on the floor from last night, which is why. I don't usually vacuum this early, but it needed to be done today. So this is another thing that I'm trying to make a routine, um, especially since we did not get to it the night before. Again, just with how crazy life is, things are a little bit different and things are being moved to the morning where they weren't before. But coming in and getting everything picked up for the living room, it really helps um, partly because the kids, they're up early. At this point, they've been up for over an hour and a half and they had come in here and they were playing and things were already a mess but also um, starting their schoolwork with the house kind of clean. It just seems to relax everybody and um, Abby usually goes down for her nap so I like to get everything picked up and then I'm able to sit down and hang out with Warren and read to him. So picking up the living room is another thing that I'm trying to make part of our morning routine. So that's why I had it on the list for today. 
He is coming in here. He's usually my little morning helper. You guys have heard me talk about that before. When they get ready to start their schoolwork, he usually steps in because Abby's napping and he really likes that one-on-one -on -one time with me. So he's just helping me change over her laundry. But that is going to wrap up today's video. I do hope you guys enjoyed this. I really enjoy power hours. They are extremely motivating and doing one this early in the day, it was so energizing. I mean, I was ready to go. I had two cups of coffee in me. It felt great to have the house so clean when the kids started their schoolwork. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I finished just under an hour. Make sure you check out Lisa's video. She is also doing a power hour and she is so much fun to watch and so sweet. I know you guys are gonna enjoy getting to know her. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys with my next video.